Hey guys, here is part two of my Columbia TriStar movie collection. Excuse me. Where I last left off was I was showing you my 2005 DVD of Ghostbusters. Now we're going to pick up from there. Speaking of Ghostbusters, I know the new movie Ghostbusters Afterlife will be coming out on blue will be coming out to Blu-ray. And I'm definitely gonna pick that up soon. Haven't seen it yet, but I'll have to give that one a watch. Cause I haven't seen it yet. I know the 2014 version was released by Warner Brothers, but this film was released by TriStar. Oops. Not gonna bother showing the ads. I'm just gonna show you the disc itself. I have Joy and Joy on DVD, which I'm going to show you that next. And now the next three are the Hotel Transylvania movies, and these star Adam Sandler. And this is actually one of my favorite movies of all time, If in case you're wondering. And this right here is one of my personal favorite movies in the series. Because every year, Disney Channel and Freeform, along with FX, does air this movie in the summer and fall. This is why I really look forward to this, because I really love this movie. Because I watch it every time it comes on. And the soundtrack, I gotta say, it's awesome. And all the Hotel Transylvania movies have really awesome soundtracks, too. Speaking of Hotel Transylvania, I did watch the new Hotel Transylvania movie, Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania, when I downloaded it on my laptop, and it was actually a really great movie. Although, Hotel Transylvania 4 is the last film in the franchise, but I've never seen the Hotel Transylvania TV series because I heard that show was not that good. And it, and it was supposed to come out to beaters, but... It was released on Amazon Prime Video because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. So here we. So here's the other. Here's the next set of DVDs. I know they did a sequel called "I Still Know What You Did Last Summer." Not sure about. I'll, I'll always know what you did last summer, but we'll see. I'll just have to watch this one first.
the next two are the Jumanji movies. Both were, while that one while that one's released by TriStar. But the sequel was released by Colum but the sequels were released by Columbia Pictures. Also have this movie on DVD. I mean VHS. Sorry, my bad. And rest in peace to Robin Williams. I do not have Jumanji in the next level as of yet, but I'm going to try to get that sometime. But I also did see the next level in theaters around two years ago, and it was a pretty good movie. I actually really liked that one. I know they came out with a sequel, which that one, um, I'm not going to be getting that. So, I'll have to see the sequel. I'll have to watch this one first before I watch the sequel. I'm not going to get the sequel, but I'm just going to pass on the sequel. So, I'll have to see if it's bad, but I'll have to watch this first. The torch lady was not supposed to be on there. It was instead the Pegasus should be on there for some reason. They actually made a mistake. This is now the second Columbia Pictures double feature that I have. The first, the first two are the Bad Boys movies, and it's on a separate disc. In case you're wondering, also at the first Men in Black on VHS, and I have Men in Black Dream on Blu-ray. Still not sure about the fourth one, but we'll see. This movie was pretty good, even though people did not like this one, unfortunately, but it was a pretty good movie. I also do have another sequel from this series called Angel Has Fallen on Blue Eye, which that was released from Lionsgate. But Olympus Has Fallen was, distrib was distributed from Film District, while London Has Fallen was released from Universal. I'm sure this will still contain the original content. And now here are some more Columbia TriStar DVDs. Now, I wouldn't count Olympus Has Fallen as a Columbia Pictures movie, but that's why I decided to include this include this in my video anyway. Just for the hell of it. Hack a bit, sorry. My bad. I know they made a sequel to this one, which that one I am never getting. I was going to go get it, but I changed my mind.
because it's one of the worst movie sequels ever made. This was the last Happy Madison Pictures movie to be released in theaters before they switched it to the um, streaming services. Which their first movie to be in the... Which Happy Madison Productions' first movie to be in the streaming service was The Ridiculous Six. Not sure if I'll check it out, but we'll see. I'll decide for right now. Oops. I'll show you one more for this part, and then we'll go to the next part. Once again, I'm not going to show the ads. Anyways, that is it for part two of my Columbia TriStar movie collection. Hope you guys enjoy it, and stay tuned for the next part.